We are back with the Burning Wheel, the Pro Nani Crow Inquisitors. And we just it's met. Real. We just it's met. Better. Yeah. <laughs> we just met a character from the year of Raging Winds. And. And that's basically all that happened. <laughs> that, <laughs> that scene was that scene was remarkably tame. Um, didn't necessarily go as I thought it would, but I wasn't entirely sure how it would go. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it, nothing nothing bad happened. So you guys you guys left the meeting, and um, but now I'm assuming that Dellen and Alphonse are gonna want to have a conversation. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm glad I'm wearing armor. <laughs> uh, I have to remember what happened now. Exactly. <sighs> um, I mean, you talked to... Oh, Chris, you talked to your sister. And... Right, right. I'm, I'm just trying to remember exactly how I went. You talked to your sister and, and found out that, you know, Alphonse seemed to have... Right. Well, well, she seemed to, like, actually want that relationship to be a thing. Right, yeah. Uh... That's not an awe thing, Connor. Oh, you mean Her that going... Incestual. Oh, oh, the incestual okay. relationship. Yeah, I you know what I'm fine, <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Aww. <laughs> I assume there was a disconnect there somewhere. There was definitely a disconnect there. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I don't think very, Connor. Very yeah. big disconnect. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Straight, straight now. So yeah. So okay. so where do you guys go um, to have this conversation? Um. Well, given that last time he just took off, I don't think I'm. I don't think Dylan's gonna wait to have that conversation. So. Uh, <laughs> um. When he step, as soon as he steps out of that the door, I think he's gonna just kind of, you know, turn to him on the street and talk to him. How do you put your helmet back on, Alphonse? No, I mean I probably would have, but I'm probably gonna take it off again. Okay. Um, my helmet's still on, but um, well, maybe not. I guess it's kind of hard to talk through a helmet. <laughs> Really have an actual conversation through a helmet. So yeah, he'll probably take it off and you know tie the strap to to his belt or something. Um, and then uh, yeah, I think he just kind of looks at Alphonse for a few seconds and like I don't know if Alphonse might say something, but he's just like kind of staring him down almost, but contemplatively because he's like I'm not really sure how this conversation is going to go or if I want to have it. Uh, but yeah. So, Alphonse, if you say anything, go ahead. If not, Donald, it's all right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just staring back. For once, Alphonse is, is speechless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so he says, I, I uh, talked to you up on a, uh, I hadn't got a chance, as you well know, uh, since, uh, or between the time that the, uh, you were put in prison, and uh, and the mission. I haven't had a chance to talk to her, uh, but uh, now that we're back, I, I spoke to her. She uh, had some confusing things to say, and I think he kind of trails off. Um, uh, says um, she. Well, okay. What is, what exactly did Alphonse tell me had happened? Because I'm trying to. I don't know if it was the same thing that she told me. Um, and that kind of. Jared? What did, what did Alphonse tell Dylan? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what you told me. I, I think I told you that I had gotten like really drunk. And then she, she you know. So you told me the truth, basically, right? Yeah. Okay, because she just told me, and and correct me if I'm wrong, Caleb. She just told me that it was like a mutual thing, and that was it, right? Like more or less, yeah. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah. So he he looks up at or Alphonse. He's like, I'm not sure what to think. She told me it was uh. Well, mutual. 
I guess. And he kind of says that with disgust, like, you know, like he doesn't want to think that that could be possible. Um, and then I think he, yeah, I think he waits to see if Alphonse says anything because he's like, you know, what do you have to say about that? I mean, at the time of me being really, really drunk, it might have been, but. So now she didn't say anything about you being drunk. She just said that you were comforting her. Uh, Um, And he just kind of like. Disturbing. Yeah. Well, and of course, she's never more specific (laughs) than that. So he doesn't really know what that means. I mean, he assumed what it meant, but. um, Yeah. Anyways. Well, well, how awkward would it be to, to actually just come right out and say to your brother that you had sex right. with yeah, yeah, his no. twin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty hard, I'd say. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> no, that'd be easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, totally. But yeah, so he's basically like, he's still not sure whether or not because, I mean, you're claiming to basically be like, yeah, it wasn't my fault. That was pretty much no, like no, not. No, no, I'm, I'm fully saying that it was my fault. Like, right now I am. But oh, okay. Well, because you were saying that, that it was, like... Him, you know, a good state of mind. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I mean, that's... I mean, if you're drunk, at least in today's society, you're not legally able to give consent. So, I mean, like, that's... That's what I mean, like... Which, obviously, this isn't modern-day America, but... It, that, yeah. that, obviously, that makes a difference. And mm-hmm. she did not make it sound like that, but if that, I, I felt like that's what you were saying. Is that not what you were saying? In the, like, in the way I said it, I, I'm taking full responsibility for what I did and I regret it, but I'm also right. telling you that it wasn't me. I, I like, I didn't do it like, uh, uh, on like my own clear, clear mind decision. Right. Right. I'm still owning okay. up to like trail trying to own up to what so i did are but, you guys right. legitimately having this conversation just right outside the warehouse yeah okay. yeah all right. at least that's where Dylan would have tried to have it yeah if I, Alphonse, mean, like, I think like unless kentaria tried to stop something i mean yuma and maria are just like really uncomfortable just standing there listening to it yeah <laughs> yeah I, he might look back at them like why are you why are you listening to our conversation but he's not going to tell them not well, to <laughs> yeah like what do they do what are they supposed to do <laughs> i know i don't know he doesn't know but he's just like what I have the conversation here. I mean, I'm going to salute them next anyway. It's fine. <laughs> wow. That was... Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, to be honest, no. if you seduced Yuma, that might have solved some problems for Dylan. Yeah, <laughs> but... I mean, I think Dylan might try and kill you either way because he doesn't know that that would solve problems. Um, oh. uh, anyways, um... See, so yeah, I don't know that... Because he still doesn't really know if he... Because it's just your word against hers is whether or not you were drunk. Um, which, yeah, so he says, uh, says well, uh, I still don't know if she's just covering for you or what, but um, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think it's like I, I've seen the way she's been looking at you, and I, it's not far from a possibility that she's just trying to keep you safe she knows i'm like my, my temper uh and if he kind of pauses like he's just trying to figure out whether he believes that part of the story like any of it really i guess mm-hmm. or he thinks you're just both trying to pull it <laughs> over his eyes yeah. surprise the, uh... it's all just a joke <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh in like your silent contemplativeness i'm just like uh, i want to talk to her as well he says yeah i uh I gathered as much. What did you say? And then I think he like he kind of like looks at you. He's like, "What? What happened? <laughs> like you best not a like made the same mistake." Of course. Like, are you, are you giving me that look? Yeah. Well, like, I think he originally was just like, "What did you guys talk about?" And then he like thinks about it like a second later. He's like, "What? What happened?" Like, and then he's giving you that kind of like that look, like you know, like he's. Yeah, gonna I said say, I like, tried clearing things up and. Ending whatever animosity. Ending whatever uh, relationship you may have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and um, Dallin believes that because she was like really messed up when he went to see her the second time. So, mm-hmm. um, so he nods. He says, uh, "If her, 
uh, disposition was anything to go by last time I saw her. I believe that much at least. Um, he says, I still don't know if I believe that you were, you were drunk, but, uh, he says, at least you've taken responsibility for it. And it seems that I, uh, misunderstood. And then he kind of like pauses and looks at you like, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't apologize to people. So it's not like that's not going to come naturally. It's just like, uh, clearly I, uh, made a mistake. Um, he says, I don't, I don't, uh, What's the word? <laughs> oh, it's so precious. I don't pretend. Whew. No, uh, yeah, you know, he's not saying it's okay. He's not condoning it. There we go. He says, I don't condone what right. either of you did, but uh, clearly I overreacted. He says, uh, he's, he's, um, he says, I still don't know if I know the truth of what happened here, but, uh, um, he says that uh, I at least owe you some uh, benefit of the doubt. And uh, he kind of like turns <laughs> towards you and Radia. Uh, and then he like turns around again and like goes to walk away a little bit further than them. Like so they can't hear. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know like if they fo- uh, yeah, hopefully they don't follow him. But he's like looking to see if he's out of earshot. But. Are you just going to, with Alphonse? Yeah, he's, he's like grabbing Alphonse's Wait, arm and like goes to Alphonse now. <laughs> no, yeah, he goes to like move further, yeah, the, the girls further are... down the building away from. Them. Yeah, they they don't follow. Um, they kind of like look at Cantarius, okay. like. <laughs> so Cantarius, it's just you and these two two living, and they're just kind of like looking at you, like. Are we... Hey there. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> uh... You happen to be my sister? Oh, <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're a Luke yeah. Skywalker, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Have you guys seen the, uh, How It Should Have Ended of Force Awakens? Uh, oh, it's, it's that scene at the end I, there, and, he's, so. and you know, they're, they're staring at each other or whatever, and then he's like, You're hot. And she's like, Oh, you're <laughs> gross. You can be related. And he's like, oh yeah. Stop me before. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't stop me before. <laughs> All right, I remember that. I remember uh, that. My favorite. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. So I, I don't know if if you like go with him when he grabs your arm. Yeah. But uh, um, he tries to like pull you further down the building, basically. I mean, not like forcefully, but just like to get some privacy, but. Does Alphonse like let him pull you along? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So he gets out of earshot and he says, uh, he nods back. He says, that's Yuma oh. and, and Marta. He says, um, which, well, I guess even though we were twins, we like didn't, especially recently, like, didn't have a lot of contact. So, um, uh, yeah, he, so he just kind of nods back. He says, that's Yuma and Marta. He says, Yuma is my, uh, uh, close friend and Maria is my. Oh, uh, Alphonse knows who Yuma is. Yeah, I, I know Yuma. Yeah. Oh, of course. Well, right, but I guess does he know that we're that close? I guess he was there during the months when we were training yeah. and stuff. But I don't know if he knows that we're like actually friends. Yeah, I think he knows vaguely, but he hasn't really witnessed okay. it exactly. Yeah, so I think he says that just because he's like you know. Sure. Especially because everyone thinks that. Did I notice the, not uh, the tension between them since that? I'm pr- I've probably been prone to seeing that my I entire- don't think there ha- no I know you are and, and but there really hasn't been when you've seen it so okay yeah um so yeah uh he says she's my close friend and then he he says that's Maria she's my and then he kind of pauses like it's still on a label for he's like it's significant other I guess and he says uh as of now we you need to you, have a DTR talk yeah apparently <laughs> he's like as of now uh uh uh, basically, like you know, I we're on good terms. At least, like I'm not, you know, I don't hate you right now. Basically, <laughs> it's like you, you know, you have my um, uh, apologies for my mistake. But if, uh, if I see you so much as look at her, I'll I'll kill you. <laughs> he doesn't say like like 
like he's mad just like it's a matter of fact like i don't expect you to do this because i don't think you're stupid enough to do that and i don't you know right now we're, we're like we're maybe patching things up don't don't screw it up uh so he's not like bad but he's he, but he's serious and after you say that I, I like look at you and like super seriously i say as soon as we're done with as soon as i get us out of this i'm never coming back does he have to roll a falsehood there no <laughs> Um, he kind of looks at him. He's like, "It's not quite what I asked, but it'll do." <laughs> um, uh, and he says, uh, "If for no other reason, uh, if Bona cares for you, and I, I don't want to have to." Uh, Bona, I'm sorry, I had to do just one more time. Cast it. I'm so, I'm uh, so sorry. Uh, and he says, "And you're, and you're my brother. I don't want to have to." Uh, it basically, like, don't don't make me do anything that I'll regret. <laughs> um, in, in the meantime, That's like, true. in between then, um, just yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I, I'm curious to know what his reaction to basically Don being like, you know, I was wrong, basically, is because that kind of will probably impact how Dylan reacts to him later based on how Dylan or how Alphonse like reacts to that of uh, at least even like just expression wise. I'm a, I'm a little surprised, but I'm also like relieved as well. All okay. right. So it's just like, okay, he finally gets it. Not like you're a jerk. I hate you now for trying to like kill me all this time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, wow, reconciliation is finally. We happening. both get deeds points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, no, when when Delin steps in front of something and like sacrifices himself to save you, that's when he'll get a yeah. deeds point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he'll be dead then. Why does all the deeds points end in somebody dying? Like, I mean, I got one. <laughs> well, I mean, I have decent armor and a really good sword. I just have to protect them, basically. But anyways, um... I no one heard that. What did you say? I heard you say something. <laughs> <laughs> just keep dropping all the... You keep forward. getting away with these things, Jared. You'll have to listen to the VOD, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... Uh... Part of me kind of just wants to to give away all of the, the secret information I have, but <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I'm wondering when Alphonse will tell Delon things that he wants, you know, is keeping from him. Um, okay, so I think um, Delon is gonna leave, and then I think he turns around and he draws the sword that you, the, like the ornamental sword that I got back. Mm -hmm. Um. Now we're on like a is this a dirt road or a stone road? Stone. Okay. Um, and I think he he like hands the handle like he flips it so that the, he's holding the blade and puts the handle towards uh, Alphonse and he says. Uh, um, he says, "Ow!" No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, basically he's like, uh, I want you to hold on to this until I, I um, discern whether or not I've I've made the right decision. He says if if uh, you go after Maria or um, or if uh, or anything like that, um, he says I'll, I'll know I was I was right all along. He says and I'll I'll use that. He says if not. Uh, um, it basically, if you prove me that I was wrong, like for sure, uh, through your actions coming up, like if you, if you prove to me in the next few months or whatever that I was wrong, um, then uh, consider that the uh, token of my apology. And then he like turns around and goes back towards Yuma and, and uh, uh, Maria. Oh, and, uh, so David, you well, I guess he's gonna wait for you to take it first. He's not gonna just hold out and yeah. then put it back. Yeah. yeah. So he says that, and then he's. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? No, go ahead, Alphonse. Okay. Uh, I, I, before you leave, I'm just like, uh, I, I kind of can't go back to the, to the palace. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did he take the sword? Did Alphonse take the sword? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I'm like, I so know, yeah, exactly, but I'm just like, yeah, I kind of can't go back to the palace. Like, as you start to walk away, it's like, right. uh, I, I kind of can't go back to the palace. Um, yeah, so he turns back and he's like, uh, you said you wanted to get rid of this curse. Uh, do you know anything about it? I mean, if you go back, it's there's, uh, there's a distinct possibility the Inquisitors will pull the trigger. And, and uh, I mean, if they can do it from there, you'll die. Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't really have the curse anymore. There it is. Oh. He just looks at him for like, until he says something. <laughs> he just stares at you like, what? Yeah, I kind of got rid of it. So there uh, is a curse, for sure. Wait, I'm not here. So there's, <laughs> yeah. So there's kind of like a flash in his eyes, and he kind of like bolts up to you and like puts this a hand out, like not like he doesn't like, grab you but he puts his hand like on your shoulder he's like how did you do it how uh i kind of got rid of yours too <laughs> Aww. What, uh, what do you mean mine oh how sweet don't you remember like two sessions <laughs> yeah. ago when caleb said that you you noticed something you felt you felt like something like was lifted off of your shoulders. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And I timed yeah, it I perfectly. I timed it perfectly yep. so that you thought it was something else. Oh. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Well, and I, I knew something was up because yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure my character would actually be like really messed up right now. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, but I totally forgot about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so maybe his memory flashes back to that. And he's like, yeah, that was the opposite of how I was expecting to feel. But, I mean, like, you know, weird things happen with emotions sometimes. So I don't – he's probably like, I'm not sure if that was it or not. But, yeah, he's just like, what What do you mean? Like, he's still – he's not He's not sure he wants to believe that it happened. Uh, yeah, true, I, like, mean, I made a deal with, uh, with Theo's god, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, yeah. I, I kind of traded the artifact that I got magic from. Oh, and your and your, uh, and, your like, oh, and my soul. And, yeah, and your soul basically. <laughs> but I don't tell him Wait, that. Wait, what? Yeah. So, so this oh, you is, don't say that. But this is what. Okay, so, yeah, I know. So I do say that. You do say that. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 David, I just like to point out, uh, Alphonse earned a deeds point from that. He literally oh, nice. sold his soul. To to release you from that curse. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> um, Why? Yeah. So when you say that you sold your soul, like there's a mixed look on his face. It's kind of like a dark look, like you did what to your soul, <laughs> and then uh, but also like uh, religious anger. <laughs> well, and it's also but like if that's true, then you know I don't even know how to respond to that. But like he's like, what do you mean you sold your soul? I mean, I, I guess it's technically figurative. I guess I'm bonded to uh, Narani. And... Yeah, you basically, like, sold, in, in exchange for that service, you sold yourself in the never-ending devotion to, to Narani. Like, you're gonna, oh, you're, oh, that's way less intense than I thought it was. <laughs> it, well, this is the thing, like... I, I, I disobey her, she'll kill me. I, it, well, that's the thing. I don't think Alphonse really understands the depth of what he did. But it's okay. pretty serious. Like he, he more or less, yeah. Narani can just ask, tell him to do whatever he wants and wh whatever she wants, and he has to do it because otherwise she'll just yeah, just kill him. Um. Yeah. So I think he's still a little bit like confused. He, I think he's a little bit less like he's not angry now because he's like, okay, you didn't like sell your soul to a demon, right. and now you're gonna go right. to some kind of void or anything like that. Yeah. But uh, um, because I mean, Narani is one of the holy saints the or whatever, saints, so. Yeah. Whatever, yeah, what you're saying. So he's just like, you know, okay, well, it's not as bad as it could be. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think he's still trying to process it. He's like, so you put yourself into uh, service of Nirani to free me from this curse. Yeah. And, and yourself. Yeah. Uh, I think he kind of steps back a little bit, like, he like, catches himself. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think he knows what to say. He's kind of speechless. He's just like, I don't. I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah, <laughs> no, he just, I, isn't there, but I know. I'm not. I know. Yeah. I, I don't even know what to say. In oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I think he's just like, why would you? Why would you do that? There's obviously like he's. It's just like, why would you? That doesn't make sense. Like, why would you do that? And not like not an appreciative thing, but more like a. That's does that doesn't make sense? Kind of like I don't understand kind of tone. So yeah, you cut out a little bit. What'd you say? Oh, sorry. He's basically like, why? Why would you do that? Like in a in like a. I'm not sure if I understand what's going on here, way. Well, he he just shrugs and says, oh, "I mean, I never hated you, brother." And then, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't know. What he, <laughs> I think he's just kind of speechless. He's just like, yeah, so, "Should we make a steel test? Steel test." Well, the steel thing, test. I think. I think we cut. Speechless. I think we cut. I think that's what we roll. Right. <laughs> What's well, the thing? If it's a steel test, then Dellen wins. You know. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of auto just, failing it. He doesn't know what yeah. to do. Um, he's kind of automatically doing the standard drill exactly. thing, except he's not drilling. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I have eight steel, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna roll. But yeah, I, oh, sorry, you said it cut. Yeah, I was just saying, like, yeah, we I think we cut back over to Cantarius and 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 uh, and, and uh, Maria and and Yuma. I mean, what, what I, have you tried to talk to them, Cantarius? Or I mean, I don't really know them too well, <laughs> and so like I don't really really care terribly. Um, but I feel like he would try to do something. Small talk. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> so, so yeah, That's it. literally we cut back <laughs> and we just see Katarius go. So, <laughs> so the are so, like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then we cut back and Dylan and Alphonse are still in this really yeah. serious conversation. Um. Oh. Yeah. So I think. Uh, <laughs> um. I feel a great disturbance in the force. <laughs> I think eventually he kind of like going on here? gets a hold of himself. Um, uh, he's, and he says, uh, if what you say is true, then uh, <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I made a more grave mistake than I realized. He says, um, mm -hmm. there's no need to uh, return the sword. It's yours. Uh, mm. And... Uh, He's just like, like obviously, he still doesn't. He doesn't technically know that that's true. Like he felt something, but I mean, that's not a lot. But I like he doesn't have any reason to not believe you necessarily, especially because he just proved was proven wrong on something else like five seconds ago. Um. So yeah. So so I think that's the moment that Dellen earns a D's point because <laughs> he literally just gave his sword to yeah. Alphonse. Yeah. Is everybody okay with nominating <laughs> Dylan for a D's point? Yeah. yeah. Well, if yeah. only just because because I voted for David to give the D's point that he might vote for me later on. <laughs> <laughs> David, I'll so patch your back. Remember yeah, this for the future. You better remember this. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, that's the that's that moment. Yeah. All right. Cool. Sweet. Never go unarmed uh, under any circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I uh, like I kind of like scratch the back of my head, and I'm kind of like, oh yeah, I also uh, commandeered an army, and yeah, I did that. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Dylan just laughs and shakes his head because at this point, like, <laughs> I don't think he's, I don't think it's gonna face him at this point. <laughs> it's like all I know is a lie. Uh, <laughs> Um, so I think he just kind of laughs and shakes his head, and he's like, "How did you manage that?" Uh, I'm very persuasive, and uh, I saved Min and the Abyss from the palace. So yeah, convinced Min to get the it's... order, and my the, the orders army. We have the orders army. <laughs> yeah, and uh, basically the biggest gang and what's what's the name of this? Lucerta. The biggest gang in Lucerta and uh, the Order's army. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, he just shakes his head and he's like, I think I underestimated you. Um, and then I think like something kind of dawns on him. He's like, what about uh, the curses on the others? Are they still, are they still bound? Yeah, I, I could only snag the two of us. Uh, he nods. He's like, I, I understand. Um, this is. Uh, I'm still working on that. Um, Yay! <laughs> yeah, he says, well, it sounds like you've got a good start. And then, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You guys walk, um, over, walk back over to... Yeah. Because um, there's probably some things you got to dis- discuss with Kantari. Right. Now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. So I don't think he has anything else to say uh, about that specifically. Um, they're like, "Hey, Cantarius, BT Dubs." Oh, by the way, uh, Dellen, um, I, I should have mentioned this yeah. before, but uh, the suit that Alphonse is wearing, the the armor and stuff like that, it's um, <clears throat> it's basically very reminiscent of uh, the way that Saran depicts the the main patron saint, the Atarian, uh, the the patron saint of the <laughs> the patron saint of the sun. Oh. If I'd have known that, I would have flipped out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot, and I think I think what we'll say is that you're just you're you're just like like realizing it right now because you were so distracted by a lot of other things. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think he looks up and he's like, you know that armor's the the what did you call him? Atarian. Oh yeah. Uh, he's like, you know that armor is Atarian. The the. Uh, patron saint right hmm i never (laughs) i didn't pay i didn't pay much attention in a squire class (laughs) he just i mean i guess it makes sense because that's the uh the father of the person i'm sold my soul sold to so he just i think he just kind of chuckles and like shakes his head like of course you did like of course you would. Okay, so I I love up like a god. I love this moment. I love this moment that like you guys have this really heart wrenching like, oh my gosh, you guys like you, you guys are actually becoming yeah. close and reconciling, and then you're walking back towards the party, and then Dylan looks over. He's like, you know, you're a heretic, right? <laughs> yeah. But even then, he's just like laughing it exactly, off. Exactly. Like, yeah. Ridiculous. That's what the best part about this. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, it's so good. Uh, I need to go figure out where I put that uh, other crappy long sword. <laughs> so I have a sword. <laughs> also, you can put that on your equipment if you want, Jared. It's a nice sword. Yeah, it's superior quality, which means it does better damage. We should take another like three minute break so I can go pee. Yeah, quick. I was actually just about to say uh, we can probably this is probably a good take place to take a break after the whole. <laughs> you know your heretic, right? Line. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. So stick around. We'll have uh, we'll have more Bernie Wheel to come when we get back. I, I actually I think it's good that it was just us us for this one. Yeah. No. For this session. Yep. Yeah. I think it worked out really well. Yep. Because nobody else had to sit around. Yeah. Waiting yeah. Going yep. on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, stick around. We'll be right back.